those who had committed suicide were denied access to a Catholic burial, and remains unidentified were recovered from the Danube River. That is the person who was buried at this cemetery that is difficult to locate. After being established for the first time in 1840, the cemetery underwent expansion in the year 1900. This expansion came about as a result of continuous floods and the building of a dike. During the year 1935, a modest, modernist graveyard chapel was constructed on top of a hill that separated the two halves of the cemetery. The chapel was designed by architect Karl Franz Eder and was surrounded by rose bushes. The older component is now lying abandoned behind the embankment, and it is covered by shrubs and trees. On the other hand, the new piece is encircled by a short wall, and the family of Joseph Fuchs has been taking care of it since 1933. A total of 478 unidentified individuals were laid to rest in the cemetery up to the year 1900. A significant number of these individuals had either drowned in the Danube or committed suicide, which prevented them from receiving a Christian burial at the Central Cemetery, Zentralfriedhof, by the Catholic Church. The new section of the cemetery serves as the last resting place for an additional 104 deceased individuals, 61 of whom have not been recognized. The majority of these individuals were carried ashore by the river's current in the vicinity of the site where the canal and river meet. The last corpse that was buried here in 1940 was a nameless body. Since 1938, when the town of Alburn was integrated into Vienna, the Central Cemetery has been the last resting place for all deceased individuals who have not been identified. Additionally, as a result of the building and extension of the Alburner Hafen, an industrial port, in 1939, the currents in the Danube have altered. The waters of the Danube no longer swirl trash of any type on shore, and its victims no longer give up so readily. The majority of the tombs are embellished with cast iron crosses that are black in color, and each one has a crucifix that is silver in color. A minor ritual is held on All Saints' Day every year by local fishermen to commemorate the unknown dead. The event consists of floating a raft on the Danube and remembering the deceased by writing a memorial inscription in German, Hungarian, and Slovak. This is done in memory of the deceased. It is rather difficult to locate the cemetery, which is situated in Simmering at the Alberner Hafen, at the intersection of the Danube and the Donaukanal, Danube Canal. It is an unexpected jewel that is concealed behind an industrial estate, and two grain elevators that are staggeringly large.